Hi there, I'm Andy. I'm going to make this short video to show you how to change an air filter in a Peugeot Boxster van. This is a 2016 model. It's done about 12,000 miles. So it'll be interesting to see what condition the air filter is in. It's never been serviced, but I have changed the oil and the oil filter. The first thing you do, you need a screwdriver and a new air filter. We can get into the engine here by opening the bonnet with this lever here. The purpose of the air filter is to stop dust and debris getting inside the engine and causing damage. If you don't replace your air filter frequently enough, then the engine's going to suffer poor performance, get less economy and probably your emissions will be more detrimental to the environment as well. This job should only take me about five minutes if I don't make a mistake or break something. This is the air filter housing here, this round housing. This tube comes from it into the front here where the air is sucked in through the front of the vehicle. Now there's four Phillips screws that hold the air filter housing cap in place and you need quite a long sort of screwdriver, maybe four, six inches long to be able to get down there and have access to these. The front ones are okay, but there's two more out the back here which are a bit more difficult to access and you've got to really make sure when you undo these screws you don't drop them down the back or something. So, all going quite well so far. No accidents. I've got to get this done today because I want to go out and test our new toilet cassette system over the weekend. If you saw that video, the lids off the air filter housing. Not too much in the way so uh, I think it's going to come out okay. This is the lid where I'll just go and put that somewhere safe and clean. It comes the actual air filter itself. There we go. Now the service interval for this van is 30,000 miles for the first interval, but obviously it's four years has gone by here. You can see down here in the actual housing, it's flipping an oak leaf in there. So we really need to make sure we get all of the dust and debris like that out of here. So I've got the vacuum cleaner in here because if I drop anything down here now without the air filter in, this turns into not a three minute video but a three hour video. That's all clean. I'm going to just wipe it out with a cloth as well because it's a bit wet. Got all my rags well sorted out in here. Nice clean one. That's that. You can see how nice my garage is looking now. I'm going to just check a uh, comparison between the old one and the new one. Make sure the new one's the same before I get too excited about doing this. Yeah, same height and everything. But look at the difference. 12,000 miles. Look how dirty that is. I know it's four years, but 12,000 miles, that's filthy. I'm quite glad I got a new one here. tempted to give that any more use. So it's got nice soft sealant and top and bottom so it's uh, going to sit nicely in the housing and I don't think it seems to matter which way you put this in. So this is going into the housing. Just going to make sure that it sits properly. There's a little, little moulding there it sits on. You can feel that's got a good seal. When you put the lid back on Make sure this rubber seal sits nicely so you don't get any leakage around it. It's got these four screws, Phillips heads on them, that I need to uh, reattach this with. It's a pity it's not just got a simple clip or something. This is easily the most fiddliest bit, getting this lid lined up with the screw holes and everything. Hope Rob Williams is watching this. If you are, thanks very much Rob, hope you're enjoying it. So I'm just going around the housing now, just doing one screw up a little bit and then the next one and the next one and tightening them up evenly all the way around. I think I'm there now, that's good. Yep, they're all tight. Feels like it's down. Now, the moment of truth coming. So just start it up, make sure all is good, and it doesn't 
make loads of sucking the air sounds or something like that. So if you've enjoyed this video, um, have a look at the rest of my channel or subscribe even. I've got some great footage of Storm Ellen from the other week and a load of flooding stuff and everything as well as my garage refurbishment. I've got some other van videos coming up very shortly soon. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you again if this works. Nothing untoward going on down there. I think that's job done.